I, I want to take a slightly different uh, uh, different detour from here. It's one of my uh, favorite questions. So I just thought, let me just uh, take the liberty of walking through that. Uh, let me uh, let me state the question: How can you calculate the value of pi using a random number generator? What? If you can generate random numbers between zero and nine nine nine. Willy nilly, right? Any point of time, and truly random numbers. How can you compute the value of pi with a random number generator? Does it even make sense? What is that called with coordinate geometry? So, value of pi up to how many? Doesn't matter how many, whatever number of distances you want. As I as random. I can even say that the random number generator is a floating point number, so it's not it's, it's not zero to nine nine nine, but it's actually between zero to right whatever that is zero and one one not inclusive or I can say that right that's probably easier way of representing it. I give you a random number generator which gets you the random number between zero and one floating point. Okay, how will you calculate the value of pi with this? Does that even make sense? Is that even like you know? Is there any, uh, any, uh, does even, how does it even compute? Maybe we should try to define what is pi and then. What is pi? Pi is a constant, so what is pi? Uh, 3.14, whatever, yeah, right? Yeah. How do you calculate based on the circle? Okay, so that's a good one. So let's actually, let's draw a, a I want to draw a quarter circle. I don't have to draw the full circle, I'm going to draw a quarter circle, okay? So. And the side is one. All right. Now, if I generate a random number, x equals random. Okay. And y equals random. What do you think is the probability of x and y being in this square? Like, if I plot that point here, right, and plot a point anywhere. Wherever the x random number says, wherever the y random number says. If I plot that point, what do you think is the probability of it being inside the square? 100%. 100%, right? Because it's, this is between range of 0 and 1, it's got to be in the square, right? Okay? What's the probability of it being in the square, in the circle? 1. 1 given by pi. No, no, it's, it's, it's in the circle if, if the radius. Right, this this radius, this point, like whatever that point is, if I draw this line, if this value is greater than one, then it's within the circle. If the value is like less than one, it's, it's less, or less than one, it's within the circle. If it's greater than one, it's outside the circle. If it's equal to one, it's on the circle. Correct? Right? So if R and how do you calculate R? You don't have to do square root because because we're doing greater than one, right? So I'm just saying R S Q. So if R S Q is greater than one, then it's outside. If R S Q is less than or equal to one, it's on or inside. Correct? Make sense so far? Yeah. Okay. If I calculate, say, like one, one billion x's and y's. Okay. What do you expect the distribution of the dots in this in this uh, square to be uniform. It's truly random, right? So there's no reason for it to be having any bias. Okay, and so that is the denominator. What is the uh, what is the number of dots that will actually fall in the circle? Pi, uh, pi by four. It's pi r square by four. R is one, so it's pi by four. Okay. So if I calculate and this. If I take a billion hits, right, and then I keep computing, keep checking x square and y square, and that's my numerator. So that that is this, right? So this is like less than uh, like R S Q, that like whatever R S Q is less than one, right? If I have that, this should be equal to. So if I multiply this by four, it will be five. So this is how you can generate pi using a random number generator. Works. So 
So what all concepts do you know to, be, to get to this? What is the denominator? Well, the number of times you want to write. You can try it a million times, a billion times, a trillion times, it doesn't matter. Because if you try this like a uh, hundred times, right? The number of times it's going to fall within the circle will be yeah. like whatever. Uh, it will be essentially like 60% uh, or something like that, right? It will be there. Because depending on the area, it will be there. Uh, pi is 3.14. So I'm expecting 314. So if you divide 314 by 4, like 320 by 4 is 80. So about 80 times you will see within the fall within the thing. About 20 times it will fall outside. And your pi will probably look like 3.2 or 3.3 or something like that, which is not right. But if you do it a million times, a billion times, a trillion times, you'll get that. So what what techniques have we actually uh, have we exploited to get this thing? You need to know what Pythagorean the Pythagoras theorem is right to figure out the length, the length aspect. Absolutely, you need to know what the area of a square looks like or a circle looks like, right? And then uh, you're actually doing uh, like essentially a, a random number. This is like a Monte Carlo simulation, right? You're running a simulation where you're trying to figure out, given all the random values, let's see how the, the how things look, and I'm going to use that as a probability to get to it. Make sense? So anyway, sidebar, not what we actually not not a part of the main the main thing, but I just thought it would be fun to talk through this. Any questions? What I expect folks to do is to actually go code this up and actually verify. Don't trust me, right? Run it again, do it yourself, and and validate that this is true. 